Hello Sam, Otoshin. This is another episode of Gameplay and Such, and in today's episode we're playing Uncharted Fight for Fortune. Which is a ridiculous Uncharted spin-off that is tied with the Let's Play we just did recently of Uncharted Golden Abyss. And this game is very closely tied to that other game, because in Uncharted Golden Abyss, when you walk around the world and collect treasures, kill enemies, progress the plot, uh, you can see that you up you are upgrading cards that you can use in this game. And you might be thinking, well, why the fuck you're upgrading cards in that game and not this one? Well, that's what they want you to do. They want you to play both games, so once you finish Golden Abyss, and have upgraded cards you can do better in this game and this game is a card game UGA Uncharted Golden Abyss I guess Uncharted 2 Uncharted 3 they actually made two DLCs for this game yeah we didn't play this for too long so here's what I Donut Trick are you fucking kidding me so here's what I think about this game this game is alright it's it has a really fucking poor downright shitty presentation I mean, look at this shit, it looks like a fucking shitty mobile game. But the card game itself, if it was a real card game, I might actually want to play it. It's not too bad. It's pretty decent. But I did get one thing that I was really fucking baffled by. It has cards featuring characters from the series. But it has cards of, like, characters I never fucking heard of before. And I was like, what the fuck are these characters? Well, it turns out they're from, like... Like the Uncharted book and the Uncharted comic book. There are like two Uncharted stories I never fucking heard of. Such as, in this tutorial, they show you that... You know, there actually is an Uncharted 3 board game. i never seen it. I don't know what, how the fuck you play it. I don't imagine it's very good. Seems kind of like a stupid idea to turn Uncharted to a board game. Well, who knows? Maybe it's a hidden gem among board games. Which is not what Uncharted 3 was. Because Uncharted 3 wasn't a hidden gem, that's for sure. Also, there's a Terraria uh, board game coming out. I might actually buy that. Yeah, so I used the card of Rika Raja. Which is the, sis the sister of Eddie Raja. The pirate re leader from Uncharted 1. It's kind of interesting, I never even knew he had a sister, but I think from what little little did I see of that comic book, I think Nate had like a thing with her, where they were like working together, kind of maybe fucking, I don't know what. Maybe it explains why Eddie hates Nate so much. I'm not sure what happens to her, maybe he gets her killed somehow. Could be Rika Raja, and uh, all I know is that she's just another fucking side girl for Nate. I guess. She seems like a bitch though. Her description is that she's a thief and she's been stealing from people ever since she's been born. Or something like that. Yeah, so you place a character card. You can either place a villain, a hero, or a mercenary. Which are kind of villains as well, but like they're not the main villains, so it doesn't matter. You place the card and you can place five of them. You have your health. It's kind of like Hearthstone almost. And then you place, like, a treasure card that might actually give you some, like, benefits or whatever the fuck. And then you have, like, an equipment card, like, I used something to increase my card's uh, health. And then once I'm done with that bullshit... Also, there's something about collecting treasures and how it adds to your treasure count, and then you can use the treasure count to use different equipment that's, like, more expensive and has better stats or something. So yeah, he used some mercenary cards, some random pirate. See, he picked up this fucking whatever, and he got 23 treasures. Or did I pick it up? Oh, he got 5 treasures, I'm not sure why. And he used the pistol. So he got plus additional damage. While I have additional defense. But he placed his card right in front of mine. Why is Rika Raja model looks like it's taken from a game? That's why these these pictures confuse me so much because they look like they've been taken from the games. But like which fucking games? Like there's like a guy wearing glasses or some shit. That's Gabriel Roman from Uncharted One. Underneath him there's like some cowboy looking guy who's like, who the fuck is that? Well, apparently he's also from the comic book. 
I'm not sure if any of the book characters appear. The book is called Seven Flabyrinth. And I got like fucking bruises and scratches on my arms. I look like I've been, I don't know, in a fucking fight. And uh, what else? Yeah, so I think the first round was like the preparation round. We didn't do any moves on each other. And now I'm doing an another thing. So I placed... Who did I place? Raymond? Gabriel Roman? And I gave him some... Bo I can't afford this. Or can I? Oh, maybe I can't do it because the game wants me to. Discard the card for some reason. I don't fucking know why. Also, the fucking lit like this is just not a game I would actually enjoy playing. Like, what you just fucking get into cards fights, into card fights, and you just fight Donut Drake, you defeat him, you fight another guy, you defeat him. There's no plot or anything. You just go from character to character, and the game gets slightly, slightly tougher. This looks like some bullshit you'd play on like. Like a pre-installed game on a computer. Which I don't even think they do anymore. Pre-installed games on computers. Fucking. It looks like one of those. Like Purple Town. Or Solitaire. Or Mahjong. Which I was actually pretty good at. One time when I was working in Greece. And I was supposed to be working. But my work in. At an arcade in Greece. Pretty much came down to just me sitting there. And pretending to work. So I was playing Mahjong on the office computer along, and I got really good at it, playing it all fucking day. Played it so much to the point where I used my Wi-Fi on in the hotel to download a fucking emulator on my phone of NES and a ROM from of Mega Man 2. And I actually got Mega Man 2 running on a fucking emulator on, on the office computer. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Didn't get to play any of the actual arcades they hit there though. That kind of sucks. Check it out, a fucking MP40. Wasn't in Golden Abyss, but it was in Uncharted 1. And 2. Look how many treasures I have. Donald Drake is garbage. I kicked his ass. And the mercenary guy. Mercenary guy didn't do any moves. I kicked his ass so much. Also, what is wrong with this game's sound design? It just sounds really fucking... I don't know. It sounds really... Like it's been recorded through a fucking tin can. It sounds like it's in fucking mono sound, not stereo. Look, I defeated Donut Drake and he lost all the weight and... Now he's just normal Drake. Why is Nathan Drake the shittiest fucking... I don't worry about me, I do this for a living. Why is he like the shittiest opponent? Isn't he the main character? Shouldn't he be tougher? Why is cameraman Jeff not in, not the first opponent you fight? He's like the fucking shittiest Uncharted character. He's so shitty to the point where he's not even like a joke character because he's not funny or anything. He's just pathetic. Muddy Drake. Different incarnation of Drake. He's like Shadow the Hedgehog. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, I didn't give my thoughts on Golden Abyss, but uh, in my opinion, Golden Abyss has the best... Not the best villain, because Guero kind of sucks. At least he's present throughout the game, unlike Gabriel in Uncharted 1. I still think Golden Abyss is better than 1. And I'd be way more up for replaying Golden Abyss than replaying Uncharted 1. And yeah, like I said... Gabriel Roman sucks, and Navarro kind of does too, because they, they barely appear in the game. Like, maybe only three times. Uh, while Guero constantly appeared throughout the game and, like, got in your way. So that was kind of much better. And Dante, honestly, was one of the better uh, Uncharted villains, in my opinion. He had, like, an actual genuine beef in a genuine conflict with Nate because he was in it for the money while Nate was in it to like help Chase prove that her grandfather did all of this and Dante just found that really fucking stupid that instead of getting rich and you know rich not really famous that doesn't really work with what they are doing they don't want to be famous 
but you know, wanting to get rich and Nate doesn't care about the money, he does for some personal reasons. Daniel Pinkerton, he looks pretty cool. He looks like he could actually make a good villain in a game, but well, he's not in any of the games, he's from a comic book. Where did he get this 3D model if he's from a comic book? Were the panels in the comic books like 3D rendered? Sounds ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so Dante. I don't know if you ever noticed, but there's always like this archetype of a character in Uncharted where it's Nathan Drake's old friend. You know, like a character shows up and Nate already knows them. And it's like, oh, Nate and Drake, how are you doing? And stuff like that. In Uncharted 1, that old friend is Eddie Raja. So he's a villain. He's like a side villain, so he's not very important to the plot. But he fills in that archetype. In Uncharted 2, it's Harry Flynn. I really like Harry Flynn. I like that character a lot. I was really sad when I first beat in Uncharted 2 and he fucking died. I was kind of hoping he would switch sides. And, yeah, Harry was kind of that old friend. Like, the game starts when the first flashback begins. It's like Nate is chilling on a fucking island. Then Harry Flynn shows up, and, and, and Nate is like, Oh, Harry Flynn, my old friend. Then in Uncharted 3, we have Charlie Cutter. Cutter, who's like an old friend of Nate. But for the first time, he's not evil, and he actually works with you the entire time, even though he does get brainwashed and almost kills Nate one time. But... That wasn't his fault. He got brainwashed. And... Oh no, he actually dealt damage to me. What an asshole. See, I didn't dealt any damage to him because... Uh, he has cards in the way. I guess. I don't know. Maybe I didn't figure it out exactly how this game works. He only figured it out a little bit. He has like an additional 4 damage second. I'm gonna fucking defeat him. Destroyed his ass. Almost. Goal. Defeat Drake. Maybe I'm the villain. Who am I playing as? Who, whose outline is this that I'm supposed to be? <laughs> Fucking Wendigos. That's what they were actually called. Descendants. Sounds stupid. Wendigos is better. See how little treasure I have? I don't really... I can't really afford any... Uh, modifications to my cards. Damn it, I'm getting my ass whooped. I might have actually lose this shit. And what the fuck I've been saying? In Uncharted 4, the old friend of Nate is his brother, who we never fucking even knew that he had before. And then Lost Legacy doesn't really have the archetype of Chloe's old friend. I guess Chloe's old friend could be Nathan Drake's brother, but it's like Sam. But it's like. How long did, like, Chloe knew Sam for? Because I guess he, she could know Nate and Sam back from when, they, when Sam wasn't presumably dead. From, like, the adventures that happened before that. See, that must have, like, that, that whole prison sequence must have happened before Golden Abyss. Because in Golden Abyss, Sam isn't mentioned at all as well. And he's not present, so. That's kind of interesting. So, presumably, somewhere even before Golden Abyss, Nate already knew Chloe. And Sam wasn't in prison yet, and they all knew each other. And, you know, because in Uncharted 2, Harry introduces Chloe to Nate, but then it turns out later that they already know each other. And they kind of have a romance going on. Kind of like an in-and-out romance. Friends with benefits, that's what they are. And... Man, my fucking eyes hurt from these fucking allergies. It's so fucking awful, I hate summer. Yeah, and... you. So you could say that Sam also fills that role in Uncharted Lost Legacy. Of that, like, old friend that they know. But I'm not sure if that really counts. Sir Francis Drake. You can actually see what she's from. Uncharted Eyes of Indra. I was almost close with the name, I think. I think I was calling it Eyes of Endra. Enendra, I don't fucking know. Enendra, that's what... Smoke wanted to be called in, in Mortal Kombat 10, but nobody fucking... 
Nobody was like, no, bro, you're smoke. You're not fucking an enra. What the fuck is that? Here's Jose Parrot, who supposedly is voiced by Nolan North. But it's like we never, in, in Golden Abyss, we never got to hear the fucking parrot. Like, was it cut from the game that we were supposed to actually hear it? Look, Skelzor is in it, except so it's called Platzor for some reason. Yeah, even the silly joke characters are in this game. You, look, you can at least customize the fucking... Oh shit, you can at least customize the, the look of the game, but... Still doesn't change the fact that this game's presentation is very fucking poor. And I would honestly want this to be some kind of hidden, actual Uncharted adventure. Because I would love to fucking play something like that. Even if it was like the shitty one, but I would still care about it. So see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.